Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I made a cookies for Santa plate and milk for Santa jug. With the Santa plate, I mirrored the vinyl and put it on the back of the plate since vinyl is not food safe. Keep on watching to see how I did that and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would love to have you here. This is my fourth day of my 12 days of craftmas on my channel. I'm going to upload my SVG first. So I'm going to click on Upload Images and Browse. Here's my image. I'm going to hit Save and insert this into Cricut Design Space. Here's another Patreon image. I'm just going to make this smaller first. I'm going to be putting this on a clear plate that I found at the Dollar Tree. So to help me size all of this, I'm actually going to grab a couple circles. On the back of the plate, it says it's 10.6 inches. So I'm gonna make one of the circles that size and I'm just gonna change it to the color white because it's just easier for me to look at it. And now I am going to move, send this to the back. And this plate has an indent in it so it kinda goes in a little bit. So this is six and a half inches so I am gonna switch that to six and a half inches. I'm gonna make this white as well and then I'm going to select both of these and center it. Now what I'm going to do is come over to my SVG and I'm going to ungroup everything. And I'm going to move cookies for Santa over. For the Santa, there's a few separate layers. So right now I'm just going to group all these together. Then I can resize it and move it all together. So now I'm just going to line this up inside the circle of the plate. And I want to make sure it's right in the center, so I'm going to hit control my keyboard and select just the center circle, and I'll go to align center. I just want to check the size and make sure it looks good, and I like how that looks. The next thing that I'm going to do is change the colors of the different pieces of the Santa Claus. But first I'm just going to hide these plates to make it easier to do this. So I'm going to ungroup this again, but as you can see, most of Santa is all one layer. So I'm going to have to contour some of these pieces out. So I'm going to hit undo, and I am just going to duplicate this two times. I'm going to slide this over here, and I want his beard and his part of his hat to be white. So I am going to go over to contour. And I am going to select hide all contours. Then what I want to do is select just the pieces that are going to be white. In this background layer, I want that one selected, I think, as well. Sometimes I have to play around with this a little bit. And yep, that is what I wanted to do. Okay, so here's all the pieces that I want to be white. So I'm going to click on the colors and change that to white. For this one, I want to separate the hat, so I'm going to hit contour. I'll hide all the contours except for the hat piece. Oh, I did the wrong one. Okay, so now we have the hat. I'm going to change that to red. And the last one I want to do is I want this part to be peach. So I'm going to hit contour again, hide all contours, and... So now I'm going to change this to a peach kind of color. And I'm going to move it over here. All of these pieces are separate, so I'm going to highlight over all of this and hit attach. So I'm going to slide this over, and now we have all the pieces of our Santa Claus. So now I am going to group all of this together again. Then I'm going to bring my plates back. Now I am going to bring the Santa over here, and I'm going to bring the cookies for Santa over. 
So the dot on the I for cookies is separate. So I am going to select those two. You can see both layers are selected and I'll hit attach. And now I'm just going to line up my cookies for Santa on this plate. I'm going to select that in this big circle and I want to align it horizontally. There you can see it brought it directly in the center and that will give me an easier idea of how to line these other two ones up. Now I'm going to change the color of these. I'm going to do red and green. I like how everything looks, so I'm going to hide these two circles. Then I'm just going to hit make it. I'm going to go through and make sure that everything's attached how I want it to be attached. Now what I want to do is actually mirror all of these. This is something that you don't usually or ever really do for ad adhesive vinyl, but I'm going to be putting this on the bottom of our clear plate. So now I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to select vinyl. I have the Cricut cut out all of my designs on each color. This is a great project if you have scrap vinyl. If you want to have the Cricut cut every color on the same mat one time, I'll link my snap mat video down below so you can check that out. I weed out my designs. Along with my little weeding trash can, I also found this nail polish holder on Amazon and it works so great for weeding out adhesive vinyl. I'll link this down below if you are interested in this. I bought this clear plate from the Dollar Tree. I wanted a clear plate so I could put the vinyl on the other side. I removed the tag and cleaned my plate first with rubbing alcohol. The trickiest part with this was I needed to do the black eyes and mouth first so it would show up so I just had to eyeball where to line this up. I placed my duck brand contact paper over the face and apply it to the plate. I use the same transfer tape and apply that to the white vinyl. I just eyeball this as well and apply it to the plate. I do the same thing for the rest of the vinyl pieces. Here's how it looks and you can see that the vinyl is all on the back of the plate. After I made this, I decided I wanted to make a milk for Santa's jug too. So I'll show you how I put this together in Cricut Design Space first. Click on upload and I'm going to upload that cookies for Santa image again. And then I'm also going to upload this and I'll insert it into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to make these smaller so it's easier to see it. If you are a patron, you also have access to these uh, script letters, but if you're not a patron, you can use whatever font you want. I like Magnolia Sky. That is a fun script font that is somewhat similar, but I'm going to use this because it matches with this. 
So I already have the four Santa part, so all I have to do is put together milk. So I'm going to select uh, this, and I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to delete cookies in the dot, and then I'll delete the Santa. So I have the four Santa. Now I just want to put together milk. So I'm going to ungroup this and grab the letters for milk. Delete this, and then I'm going to zoom in and line up this cursive. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight over all of these and weld it together. I might make it just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to select over all three of these, and then I am going to align and center horizontally. Now what I want to do is change these to different colors. I'm going to make Milk and Santa red. And then I'm going to make four green. Now I'm ready to click on Make It. Now I'll hit Continue and I'll choose vinyl. I cut out my red and green adhesive vinyl. I like to buy Oracle 651 vinyl. It is permanent. I usually buy it at Michael's. They sell 12 by 12 sheets for $1.99 and every once in a while they have it on sale for 99 cents. Here's the milk jugs that I bought. They came with these cute reusable straws. I only needed one, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of the bottles, but I'm sure I'll find something else crafty to do with them. I bought these off of Amazon, and I'll link them down below. I cleaned these off with rubbing alcohol as well. I apply transfer tape to my vinyl and place it on the jug. I was going to start with milk but decided to put the Santa decal on first just to help me line it up better. I didn't want to run out of room for the Santa decal. I add the straw and look how cute this turned out. My son and daughter will be excited to set these out for Santa this year. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And check out my Patreon account in the description box below if you would like to support my channel even further. And there are some perks as well when you join. And have a great day.